From the News Channel 5 Network, this is Pharmacist On Call. Good evening, Nashville, Middle Tennessee, Southern Kentucky, those of you as far west as Jackson, Tennessee. Welcome to Pharmacist On Call with your host, Dr. Sean Pruitt. And if you're watching this show, I am your community pharmacist. Everyone, welcome to the first show of season five. Can you believe it? So uh, this is Pharmacist On Call, your one hour forum to get out all of those burning questions that you've had. We recognize that your doctors and your pharmacists are busy and they don't always have time to answer those questions. But for this one hour a month, I do. So call in with those questions. Rule number one, there are no silly questions, and chances are those burning questions that you have that you may think are silly and mundane, they may, uh, as case has bared out, that they may bless someone else, uh, so call in. This show is sponsored by Pruitt's Discount Pharmacy, the pharmacy choice for the uninsured, and the Congan Water Store of Nashville, Nashville's premium source of clean Congan alkaline water. All right, everyone, so we're gonna welcome you to this uh, April edition here as we usually do. We'll get into some birthdays and some congratulations and some condolences. Uh, we wanted to start out with uh, condolences for the uh, Miss uh, Teresa Gribbins, uh, who's a good friend of the pharmacy. She lost her husband uh, about two weeks ago suddenly. Uh, so we wanna let her know that she is in our, our thoughts and prayers. I uh, also wanted to send out uh, condolences to uh, the family of the, the young lady. Uh, who was found, Miss Letitia Lane. So we certainly uh, want to give her family our, our thoughts and prayers as well. Uh, so we want to jump into some birthdays right quick. Let's see, we've got uh, my good friend, Chris Gardner. You all know him as Hollywood, my frat brother, uh, Zazeda. So a happy birthday, he was born on the first. Uh, my first employee, my first intern, my first pharmacist, Dr. Ashley Smith, uh, who is in Bermuda right now. So we want to wish her a happy birthday. And uh, last but not least, my last born, my youngest child, Miss uh, Jamise Sean Pruitt. Uh, she will be turning five at the end of the month on the 26th. So uh, happy birthday, Muffy. And uh, Daddy will be uh, ready to see you next week. I also want to send a shout out to uh, 29 year anniversary of my line brothers. That's right, so you see me rocking the sci-fi today. 29 years of Q from APSU. This is my 29th anniversary as a member of Omega Sci-Fi fraternity, Resolute Ro Kappa chapter. And it looks like we've already got a call, so we're gonna jump into that first and then we'll, uh, we'll finish up. Chris, welcome to the Pharmacist on Call. How may we help you? Um, yes, sir, I was just curious. Um, what is your thoughts on natural uh, natural medicine, such as medical marijuana and other natural cures? Uh, I'm um, I'm okay with the natural medicine, uh, medical marijuana itself. I'm okay with as well. Uh, you have to remember that nature has taken care of people for millennia, for thousands of years, well before Pfizer or GlaxoSmithKline were around. Uh, so I think that the creator who put us here knew that we would need certain things in order to take care of ourselves. Uh, does that mean it can replace, you know, your doctor's care in traditional medicine? Uh, maybe not so much, but I think that they can work together. And for those people who don't have doctors, that natural medicine certainly offers an alternative. Uh, in fact, we carry the CBD, the CBD oil or the hemp oil, which you'll probably get a few questions uh, about. But yes, medical marijuana, Actually, certain medical conditions. With, uh, epilepsy. Absolutely. But I've seen documentation of where it has helped uh, four-year-old children. Absolutely. Yeah, you're absolutely correct. And I believe that's when the state's legislation uh, with the cannabis oil being 0.9% uh, or less because the documentation is there that it does help seizures. But it helps a whole lot of other conditions too. And so we want to get it approved for those conditions as well. We don't want to just do epilepsy only. This plant is miraculous in terms of what it can do for not only epilepsy, but pain relief, for psychiatric disorders, for opiate withdrawal. There are a number of different autoimmune disorders, balancing your hormones, just tons of things that this plant can do. So I'm a big proponent of natural medicine, marijuana in particular. All right, so not, not only is it just the marijuana, but um, well, would you say that we spend too much money on unnatural medicines such as like um, prescriptions, over-the-counter headache medicines, uh, pharmaceuticals, as you would say? Uh, do we spend too much? Uh, yeah, probably. 
Yeah, probably. We spend a, we're Americans. We spend a lot on everything that we shouldn't. Yeah. But are there alternatives to the medications that we uh, buy from conventional medicine that aren't anywhere near as effective as natural remedies? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so there are even medications that I sell in my pharmacy that pale in comparison to what the hemp oil has been able to do for my patients. That's including pain relief. You would say that you would say that um, natural remedies are better better for your for your health wise than the over the counter stuff. It depends on the natural remedy. So uh, some of them also they're not free of side effects, and so it, it's a case by case. It also depends on what other medications you are on, and so like even with our hemp oil, if you're on Coumadin, which is a blood thinner, we just don't recommend it because uh, it increases the levels of Coumadin. So natural medicine is not a, a great thing for everyone, but for most. All right. Well, thank you for your time, sir. Yes, sir. Good question, man. Thank you. And I appreciate everything. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. Maxine, welcome to Pharmacist on Call. How may we help you? Yes. I was wondering if uh, it would be possible to heal up a tooth abscess naturally without taking antibiotics. Let's see. I've got a patient who uses something called Arnica Montana. Oh. Uh, yeah, so look into that. Okay, I have been using uh, other things that I got, uh, black cumin, uh, the, I take the beetroot juice, and um, I'm a lot allergic to sulfur, so uh, the only thing I'd, I'd like to know, in your opinion, what would be the best antibiotic um, other than cleosin? I, I, I read about that and I'm scared of it. Uh, what would you recommend? Are you trying to go natural or no, conventional? No, if I have to take an antibiotic. Okay, and you're allergic to sulfa? Uh-huh. You penicillin allergic? Uh, yes, sir. Ooh. Yes, sir. Oh, gosh, you're making it difficult. So let's look at uh, uh -huh. maybe azithromycin. Azithromycin, mm -hmm. okay. Um, okay, so that would that would cure it or heal it up, right? Well, see, it depends on the bacteria. So each each antibiotic has a certain affinity for a certain bacteria. So just, just like penicillin is broad spectrum, but it doesn't kill everything. And so it just depends on what that bacteria is. Have you had any customers that's had any reaction to cleosin that's really bad? I mean, the, the side effects that I read, I mean, what could happen, uh, it's scary. Yeah, the C. diff, the uh, Clostridium difficile, yeah. Yeah, and then just the GI disturbance is, you know, but I don't think everyone gets that and, you know, certain precautions you need to make sure you're eating and then certainly sitting up as well to give it time to go all the way down the esophagus uh, where it's fully digested. But yes, ma'am, uh, conventional medicine, as I said with the natural medicine, they are not without side effects and some can prove to be harmful depending on your body makeup. Yeah, that's, that's what's scary. Will you spell that uh, natural ingredient again? Sure, A-R-N-I-C-A. Uh, N-I-C-A, uh-huh. Uh, Arnica, and then the last word is Montana. Montana, mm -hmm. okay, thank you so much, Dr. Pruitt. Now, you can also, since uh, I heard you talk about black cumin, black seed is a broad spectrum antibiotic, and so it kills a slew of, uh, of bacteria. Mm -hmm. I actually took a cotton ball of it last night, mm -hmm. and it was better this morning. It's in between. I need a wisdom teeth taken out, and it's in between the, the, the wisdom teeth and the teeth next to it. But it did feel better after I put that cotton ball and left it on there all night with the black cumin mm -hmm. seed oil. I'm also doing honey and vinegar in the morning, uh, trying, you know, because I've heard that's a nat natural antibiotic, too. Honey is. I don't know about the vinegar. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. oh, yes, okay. honey. Raw organic honey, not the one with inside the little honeybee, I mean the little bear. Now that's not an antibody, but if you get your, <laughs> your raw organic honey from like a farm here in the city, yes, it does have antibiotic properties. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for calling. Uh-huh. You're welcome. All righty. Welcome to Pharmacist Don't Call. How may we help you? Hello, Dr. Pruitt. Yes, ma'am. How are you? Pretty good. How are you? Well, this is your mom, of course. How you doing, mama? <laughs> I, I wanted to know uh, how does the hemp oil work in uh, in relation to taking it under the tongue? Is it, if you rub it on uh, your back or your knee, is it just as effective as in what? Uh, time frame is the release time about the same. Very, very 
good question. We get that quite often. Uh, and so the, the drops that we sell, which is these two guys right here, are sublingual drops. And so you will just a few drops. Some people mistakenly do dropper fools, but just drops, three to five drops starting out under your tongue. And the, the deal is, is that the mucosa, the lining under the tongue is so thin that the oil goes through that and into the bloodstream relatively quickly uh, versus you rubbing it on, you know, uh, an area you're gonna wind up using more oil to cover that surface area, but just a few drops gets into the bloodstream and helps everywhere versus you having to put oil uh, in different places. Now we're, we're about to come up with uh, a topical form that we're gonna start carrying some salves because they have proven to be effective. But in terms of the oil, okay. I think you get your, your best bang doing it sublingually. As far as how long does it take to work, I have heard any, everything from a few seconds to a few minutes, but it, it works quickly. So, oh, okay. Yeah, so well, this is not something you have to take forever. Yeah, very people. Very well. Mm -hmm. I, I wanted to know. You said there are no silly questions. No, no, there uh, So, hopefully, that will help someone else, too. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Forever. Well, I wanted to know. You said there are no silly questions. There's TV up there, Mama. I want to help someone else. All right. Well, thank you, ma'am. Good. Okay, goodbye, Dr. Truitt. I'm yeah. going to finish watching the show now. Yes, ma'am. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. All righty, bye-bye. All right. Welcome to Pharmacist Don't Call. How may we help you? Hello. Welcome to Pharmacist Don't Call. How may we help you? Going once. Going twice. Okay. Can you tell me what uh, regrow your hair? Ma'am. Yes, can you tell me what product can help regrow your hair? Okay, so have you uh, lost hair or you just want to grow more? It, it, it's thinning. Mm, it's I thinning. lost hair. Okay, are you on uh, medication like maybe hydrochlorothiazide or something like that that could be thinning it? Uh, I take a high blood pill. Okay, yeah, that's most likely what's doing it. Uh, so as long as you're on that medication, you're going to have hair thinning. But also, let's make sure that our hormones are intact, too, because that can affect it. So our thyroid, our estrogen, and our progesterone. Uh, so have you had your, your hormones looked at by your doctor? Yeah, I think they did. Okay, so let's, let's make sure they check our thyroid too. Uh, but as far as regrowing it, you want to look at probably something like biotin, uh, which is a B vitamin and uh, pretty good at helping to grow your hair. Uh, there's also a product called DHT blocker. And so what happens is uh, dihydrotestosterone uh, is, a, is a converted hormone that also leads to hair loss. And uh, actually, we have a patient who uses it and she swears by it. What is the initials again? DHT blocker. It's dihydrotestosterone. <laughs> but if you just call the store, I can I can direct you to it. Well, how can I call the store? What's the store number? Hey, you have to watch the show because if you don't, he's not going to flash the number. So keep watching the show. My producer's going to flash the number at the end of the show. Okay. All right, ma'am. Okay. All right, thank you for your call. All right, everyone, stay right there. The lines are fully booked. We'll be right back.